Hi everyone, in the last video we finished off uh, adding the rigid bodies for this. Uh, let me just show you. So, I think this looks okay. I mean, this would look way better if it was done by an artist, but uh, I think it's, it's good enough. Anyway, so, let me just, yeah. Uh, in this video I want to talk uh, about the idea of blending animation and physics. Uh, so to do this, you'll want to select all the bodies using Control A. And uh, you see there's this physics type, which we haven't really talked about. So in here you have uh, default, kinematic, and simulated. And the idea is that uh, each one of these rigid bodies, it can either be physically simulated, animated, or uh, a blend of both. So uh, let's go ahead and set that to kinematic. And now if we hit simulate, you'll see that nothing happens. And the reason is that we've set all the rigid bodies to be kinematic, which means that it's expecting an animation. So over here in the animation, if we pick uh, walk, you'll see that it's already going into the right pose. And if we hit play, you can see that he's, he's fully animated. Uh, this gets a little bit more interesting if we actually have a combination of, of uh, simulated and animated. So for example, if we take the lower arm and the, the palm and we set them to be uh, default, and now we hit simulate, you can see nothing's moving except for this guy. Uh, but if we actually hit play, now uh, you get this kind of combination of the two. And you can actually come in here into the physics blend and, uh, and play around with this. So if I, if I set this to zero, it means that everything's going to be animated. Uh, if I set it to one, then anything that can be simulated is 100% simulated. And 0.5 will do like a, a blend between the two. It might be a bit hard to see, but anyway, uh, you might have seen some of this in our content examples, and you can, you can edit all this through Blueprint, but I just wanted to, to show it to you. Uh, one last thing that I want to show you is uh, a bit of a more advanced feature in the constraints. So if you go to constraints and uh, look at the head, I'm actually going to uh, change this back to locked so that we only have this one axis. Um, so if we do select a simulation and no gravity, we can move the head around, right? And that's fine. But sometimes you, you might want to actually have a bit more of a, a springy feeling. So to, to do that, you can look at the, uh, the advanced option here in Angular Limits. So you can see we're using Swing Limits Soft. And uh, the way this works is that it's basically it, there's just a spring mechanism that's keeping the body uh, back inside this, this constraint. So as soon as the yellow line gets outside of here, uh, a spring with these values is what pushes it back in. So if I, if I make this, um, 100, and I, I turn the damping down a lot, then you, it'll be more obvious uh, what I'm talking about. And actually, let me just turn this on so you can see. So you can see now, as I move this way, the, the head actually bounces back. And you might be wondering, like, why would you want this effect? Uh, and it doesn't really make sense, you know, for, for a character. But, uh, for example, in the, the upcoming vehicle uh, uh, sample game, we actually have a, a little antenna on the car, and the way that's set up is is just using a bone and uh, kind of like a spring spring constraint. So that's pretty much it. I think uh, this wraps up the entire series on fat. Uh, if there's anything that I've missed, uh, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer any questions. Uh, thanks. Bye.